News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Back to the phones here on the EIB Network. This is uh, Justin in Pittsburgh. It's great to have you, Justin. How are you doing, sir? Gosh, mega Dino, ultra mega close to you and from my father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, we have been to open the country, gosh. Uh, we don't have to leave off. The best one, uh, the doctors can't. And uh, I'll tell you why, because they, for better or for worse, they will sit on the sidelines and wait to call a foul. They don't want to lead on this, and it's going to be awkward. It will get tough. First, the road attack after this economy gets ready to any degree, the gloves are off. So Republicans better get a step up or lip, because the Monday morning backing on this thing is going to be brutal. Well, you know, I, I think the, the first corona death, and it'll be marked by the person who'll be a hero, and one of the media is going to find out who it is, and that person will be forever linked in coverage with Donald Trump. And that person's death will be chalked up as unnecessary. That that person probably wouldn't have died if we hadn't reopened the economy. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's exactly and then the, the entire Republican Party will be blamed. And they're setting up to attack Governor Kemp in Georgia on the same basis. But, you know, your, your, your point is, the point, the first point you made in the call is that if this is going to get done, we're going to have to do it because if you leave it up to people in the Democrat Party or have interests in the Democrat Party and the American left, if you leave it up, the administrative state and health officials, we're never going to open. They won't take the plunge for the very reason they don't want anything coming back to them. By definition, they are not risk takers. They're not going to take the risk. It's safer for them to condemn reopening and to warn about the pitfalls because everybody knows the deaths are going to continue to happen after we reopen. So it's going to be up to people to do it themselves. I'm Jim Gagliardi, News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Here's what's happening. Ten more deaths from coronavirus in Rhode Island. That's from the Wednesday briefing. Death toll the state from COVID-19 now at 181. With many people home virtually all the time because of the coronavirus pandemic, there's been a spike in domestic violence. Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence reporting a 29% increase in calls over the same period a year ago. Anyone in need of help is urged to call the Rhode Island Helpline at 800-494-8100. Get news 24-7 on demand at newsradioRI.com. Now, here's your Storm Team 10 forecast. A wind advisory highlights a cool afternoon with winds gusting over 30 to 40 miles an hour at times. Combined with temperatures in the mid and upper 40s, it will feel like the upper 30s all afternoon. The wind gradually diminishes tonight, allowing temperatures to fall into the low 30s for Thursday morning. Partly sunny and slightly milder with mid-50s for Thursday afternoon. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Anthony McCurry on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. This report is sponsored by the T.J. Martell Foundation. News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Traffic. Road work on 195 westbound is going to tie things up a little bit as you get by 140. That's because of a left lane is taken in New Bedford. Also, as we look at 95, both ways around Broadway, you got some road work going on there. It's uh, on the bridge, so they're doing a lot of uh, construction there. So if you need to, take 146 to 295 to get around that if possible. I'm Dan on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Join the TJ Martell Foundation in the fight against leukemia, cancer, and AIDS. Your support helps facilitate cutting edge research that will lead to more effective treatments and save more lives. Visit tjmartell.org to learn about music's promise for a cure. Sturdy Memorial Hospital wants to say thank you to its staff for continuing to put patients first amid this health crisis. We see the sacrifices and the bravery you display every day. It's selfless and courageous and it doesn't go unnoticed. We will get through this because together we are sturdy. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? 
If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-444-2013. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except... He's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-444-2013. That's 800-444-2013. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-444-2013. 800-444-2013. Your office. Whether it's a home office or an office office, it's where you conduct your business. It reflects who you are. You got a handsome desk, a stylish chair, even your pencil holder completes the look. Everything is right. Well, everything but that crummy plastic mat under your office chair. It dents and cracks, the corners curl up. Why do you have that? You need the glass chair mat by Vitraza, smooth enough to glide on and strong enough to hold a thousand pounds. Our glass chair mats never dent. You get a lifetime warranty and it's beautiful. Get the look you deserve. You won't find Vitraza glass chair mats at the office superstore. You order direct at Vitraza.com. That's V as in Victor, I-T-R-A-Z-Z-A.com. Shipping is free, and you save 10% with discount code OFFICE. That's $25 to $75 off any Vitraza glass chair mat with discount code OFFICE. Vitraza.com. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. governor of Colorado is planning on gradually reopening the state and the economy there. Colorado will let its statewide stay-at-home order expire next week. They will allow a gradual reopening of non-essential businesses and they will prevent non-elective surgical procedures and other activities suspended by the coronavirus fight. To resume, as long as strict social distancing and other protective measures continue. And this is another thing well, Governor Kemp touched on it in Georgia. They they shut down all hospital activity, elective surgeries and ho- hospitalizations for things, uh, nothing to do with coronavirus, because they were told that until they flatten the curve, we had to do nothing. We had to flatten the curve to keep people at home, shut everything down, Make sure we didn't overrun.